mummies and daddies and welcome to my channel so today we have a very special guest miss priyanka brumbar a mother of two with full passion who's the founder and the owner of the company the learning shack wherein they teach little children ranging from the age 5 to 15 all about coding and that is why i have got her here to decode all about coding so let's quickly get started so hi priyanka how are you Hey hi I'm super excited and doing fine and uh, thank you so much for having me on your channel and um, I'm all set to answer all your questions so let's get going Thank you thank you so much for giving us your time so as you said let's get going so tell us what is this coding like there is coding 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 everywhere every youtube video i click on to there is an ad which pops up about coding every channel i click on my tv it's about coding so what is coding let me explain this to you in a very simple manner now today today we both are having a conversation right now what is the reason that we are able to understand each other the reason is because we understand a common language that is english or maybe hindi or any other language likewise suppose if i want to communicate or want the computer to follow my instructions how am i going to be doing that am i going to just converse with the computer in in the language that i know no that's not the answer so i am going to be conversing with the computer in the language that the computer understands coding is nothing but a set of instructions given to the computer in a language which the computer understands so when we teach kids coding uh, what do kids learn they generally learn a, a particular language and using that language they are able to converse with the computer or give a command to the computer to create a game or to create a website or an app or any sort of software it sounds way simpler now priyanka it's basically saying hey buddy to computer in their own language right yes absolutely <laughs> <laughs> all right so why do you think it has become such a huge trend all of a sudden earlier we used to see hoardings of all our cosmetics and uh, other things on the roads but right now it's all about coding teach our children coding if you want to make your children smart teach them coding as if it's like a life skill so what do you have to say about that how come suddenly it's become so pompous and so trendy okay, let me explain this this way You know, times have changed. We are living in a digital world now, right? Now, with this digital transformation happening, uh, we see that every industry these days demands computers, computer knowledge, right? You name it. Uh, it is the airline industry, booking your tickets, your book, booking your movie tickets, food industry, the retail industry, the telecom industry, the gaming industry, the robotics industry. I mean, every industry today is computerized. It demands the computer language, right? My generation, we did not have the chance or the exposure to learn computers. In fact, we saw computer only at a very later stage in life. The reason why we did not start earlier because there was less of exposure, there was less of knowledge. The industry did not demand much. Most of the industries were running in a manual way. Currently, every industry is digitized. everywhere you see digital transformation happening everything is computerized now in this era where we are living don't you think that the child if he harnesses the computer skills or uh, the coding skills at a very early age the, the child definitely has an edge over the other kid who is not being exposed to coding right so i feel that uh, the sooner the child begins to learn coding the better it is definitely and believe me there is just no age to start with it if they harness this a very attractive career can be made out of it that sounds pretty interesting and actually now if i think of it everything is digitized and that leads to my next question which was that why is it so helpful for children to in today's time and that is one of the answers i believe that it everything is digitized other than this point why do you think it is so important for children how does it help them the coding it helps harness the creativity skills of a child uh, the child starts thinking out of the box hmm? and uh, apart from that they become uh, creators and not only consumers of anything that is available in the market so your logical reasoning your analytical skills your mathematical skills your um, problem solving skills your perseverance your confidence everything is enhanced if you take up coding right at an early age 
like you sharpen a knife it just gets sharper day by day so as and then if you start at an early age then when you grow up you understand coding uh, in and out and you can actually make a career out of it so definitely number 3 i would say that career so suppose if a child wants to become a computer engineer if he is interested in robotics if he is interested in gaming right if he starts early imagine what the child can do when he grows up he can um, actually be a, be a big name in the gaming industry is and also definitely i have seen children and compared the reports of children who's pursuing coding and the child who's not pursuing coding you you have to see that the academic report of a child pursuing coding is much much better the percentage wise in math definitely math being the subject of course for sure i can say the it definitely is much better than the child who's not pursuing coding because it is sharpening your logical reasoning day after day i think now i have to really observe a coder and a non coder very closely to understand yeah, this point of yours you see a way you see a lot of difference between the two that's interesting priyanka you know with this pandemic and all the lockdown happening there is as it is a lot and lot and lot of screen time which is increased for children we actually have the whole school online <laughs> in today's time so do you think parents should now also go ahead for for coding for their children you know depending that their screen time will increase further If you ask me that uh, whenever I take a class with a student, I generally take two classes per week, hmm? which is like a one hour each. So you're just giving two hours a week of screen time. The kind of output that you're getting out of this is uh, is humongous. This these two hours per week can actually help you build a career in advance when you grow up. So it's it's a it's a fair bet I would say. And uh, two hours a week of screen time in something which is going to give you a career. Number one, which is of immense interest to you. Believe me, it is addictive. The moment you start making an app or a game and start coding, the kids they are actually in a different world altogether because they see that the creativity has got wings. They're actually putting it um, into reality. It's actually happening when when whatever you think it actually starts happening. then uh, you feel love uh, out of the world right so imagine the kind of confidence that the child gets out of just a two hours screen time per week it's nothing much to ask for wow it's like painting a picture and then waiting for it to see getting alive that's beautiful yes absolutely that's a good way of framing it <laughs> All right. In the end, I would uh, I would request if you can show us some of the project or any app or game or anything small that one of your students had made and it will amaze us. Yeah, for sure. Well, this is a project on uh, a robo where my one of my student has made a story and the story also has a, a small quiz game and you won't believe this is just made by a seven year old. So uh, I'm sure you like it. Let's check what is happening inside the rocket ship. Oh, it seems I'm not on the right track to go to planet Mars. Oh, what is that strange colorful planet? Let me go and check it out. Wow, this robot planet is beautiful. I'm so glad I came here. Let me go and check what we find. Let me go and see how the robots dance. It will be so much fun to see them dance. Wow, the robots are dancing so beautiful and neatly. It's a pleasure to be here and see their dance. Ha ha ha. For a fun dance. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm hungry. Let me go and grab a snack from the restaurant. Good evening, sir. Would you like to have a margarita pizza? Oh, sure. I would love to have it. 
I'm so hungry. I love pizza. I wanna have it right now. Let me go and wrap it. Who are you? Which planet are you from? You don't belong here. Robogar, captivate this man and put him to jail immediately. Leave me please. Leave me please. I'm not here to harm anyone. I will do as you guys will say. Okay, in that case, you will have to play a quiz game. Only if you will win, we will free you. Else you will be captured here in a planet forever. Let's begin. Your next question is... Wow, that was an amazing story and you said that this was made by just a 7 year old girl. Yes, you bet. And uh, imagine the sort of creativity she must have brought on the table. Yeah, I love the robo imagine. police and the whole robo dance. That was so cool. 7 year old coming up with such a good animation story along with a small quiz game in it. So, uh, um, so this, this actually went for one of the competition and she uh, also won the best story award for this. You can just give wings to your imagination and uh, make it actually happen. That sounds awesome. Literally, it's like magic. You shake your wand and everything comes alive. So that's beautiful, Priyanka. I loved talking to you and knowing all about coding. Thank you so much, Priyanka, for uh, giving us your valuable time. And uh, to all my viewers, if you have any further queries related to coding, do comment below and we'll be happy to answer. Isn't it, Priyanka? Yes, of course, and I thoroughly enjoyed being on your YouTube channel. Um, thank you so much for having me. And I would be delighted to answer any questions if need be. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.